Unity just dropped a bomb. Right, so a few days ago, Unity came out with a brand new pricing policy and this pricing policy has shaken up the entire world of video game development. Everyone is losing their minds and in this video, I'm going to be talking specifically about this policy and how it's going to affect you. Whether you are looking for a job, whether you're doing a job, whether you're starting off in game development, whether you're an indie developer, or whatever your role is in the game industry, I'm going to be talking about how these pricing changes affect you and what you should be doing in the future. Should you be staying with Unity? Or should you be shifting to a new engine? What should your reaction be? You're going to be knowing in this video. So make sure you watch it right till the very end. Let's go. Okay, so a few days ago, Unity has come out with a new pricing plan. Now, this is available for everyone to see and a million people and lots of videos and blog posts have actually deconstructed everything. So I'm not going to get too technical about what it is. Now, fundamentally, what it is, is that Unity used to have several tiers and those tiers were free. If you were on a personal plan, you could absolutely use Unity up to a certain point till you made a certain amount of money and then you would have to pay them some money, right? This has completely changed. They have changed the tiers, they have changed the policy. So very, very briefly encapsulating it, I'll tell you what it is. It means that they had a plan, Unity Plus plan, and now that one is gone. So Unity Plus is being retired as of immediately so you only have personal and then you have the higher tiers. The big changes are of course in per installs fee which means that Unity is now going to be charging money per install over a certain certain threshold which means that if you hit a certain number of downloads or a certain amount of revenue then you have to pay Unity some kind of fee. Now like I said I'm not going to be getting into the technical details right you can just google this or go on YouTube and you can find a million videos explaining explaining everything to you. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the effects that is going to have and why this is happening. Now, firstly, remember that Unity is one of the dominant players in the market when it comes to game engines. It's basically Unity and it's Unreal. The advantage that Unity has is that Unity is really, really good for mobile. Most mobile games in the world actually use Unity because it's a really, really good and optimized tool which is made specifically for mobile. So it's very, very easy for any company or any game company to just, you know, instead of writing their own game engine, you just pick up Unity and you actually start building your game. And it's very, very easy to put it out there. It's very, very easily integrated with all kinds of ad engines, etc. Especially for free to play games. And I think what happened is that they have a new CEO. Well, new means he's been there for a few years and he's actually from EA. And basically remember that Unity or any other company exists for one reason and that is profit. They need to make money and at some point they have determined that they are dominating the mobile market and they're not making enough money so the question for them is how can we make more money with our product that's basically just it so they have introduced all these changes and i mean come on they're not idiots they knew that this is a big move. They knew that there was going to be a huge backlash. I'm 100% sure that they knew exactly what was going to happen and people are going to lose their minds. But I think that their calculation is that even if they lose, you know, 10, 20, 30% of their user base of people who actually make games using Unity, their revenues are actually going to go high up. So remember, they're not interested in pleasing you. They're not interested in being the nicest, most wonderful and most user-friendly game engine. They are just making money. So at the end of the day, the calculation is that how can we make more money with our game engine? Now let's talk about different positions. Now, firstly, let's talk about if you are an indie developer or if you're using Unity for fun, making a game by yourself, it doesn't matter. You can just go on using Unity. You're not going to be losing money because you're probably not going to be hitting that threshold of installs and revenue. So if that's your goal with Unity, go ahead and use it. It's not a problem. Secondly, if you are an indie studio, if you are kind of like a few guys who have some successful games out there, um, especially in PC and console, it's not a problem. The number of installs, etc. are going to be affecting mobiles more than PC games. Because remember, PC and console games are usually, you have to pay a fee to install them. So even if it's like a few cents that you're going to be paying per install, that should not be a problem, right? I know that there is a lot of talk about, you know, what happens if you, if somebody installs 
uninstalls the game and then uninstalls the game that takes a refund and does all that kind of thing well i'm sure that's going to be worked out okay like i said they are not idiots there's going to be some kind of clarification i have a feeling and they're going to work that stuff out okay the problem starts basically for free to play games which in which basically there are a lot of installs people install the game for free and you know they're going to be charging per install for that so that could be a little bit problematic so once again recap if you're an indie developer working on pc games or console games or whatever don't worry about it just keep on using unity right um you may want to look at unreal as an alternative but remember unreal is not as user friendly is not as good for mobile if you're on the mobile space it's fine if you're using unity for pc and console i think you're going to be okay now let's talk about the mobile space especially in india there are a lot of companies that are using this for mobile and actually all over the world in fact here is a list of the games that actually use unity and it is insane some of the biggest games on the planet use unity unity is absolutely huge right so if you are making your game by yourself for mobile i don't think it's going to be a problem okay because you're not going to get hurt so bad i think where the problem is going to be for the larger studios making free to play games which have a few million installs they are going to get hit to some extent by this but also remember if you have a game that you've built and been running for years you're not going to be able to just port it immediately to some other game engine and unity knows that they basically have all these big game studios and they know it right that's the game right here so when it comes to employment if you are especially if you're in india you are learning unity and you're wondering what's going to happen my guess is don't worry about it in the long run this is going to be a little bit of a blip and it's possible that going forward other competitors may start coming up because also to be honest what unity has done right now sucks i'm not making a moral judgment but the way they've handled this is bad they've just come out of the blue and they've made retroactive changes they've done this in a pretty ugly way but that's what companies do right i'm not making a moral judgment this is pretty much what companies do and there's no guarantee that tomorrow if you switch to unreal or good or they're not going to be doing the same things going forward once they start dominating the market right also if you are actually looking to change over to unreal gamer to maker has an awesome unreal engine program which is one of the best in the market and not only is it awesome it's also recognized by the government of india it's a six month program right so if you're looking for an alternative to unity if you're looking to learn unreal take a look at gamer to makers unreal program the link is in the description of this video so overall to summarize calm down chill and wait for the dust to settle in about one month or so we will know what is really going on they're probably going to be some clarifications issued by unity and big game studios will be making a decision as to what's going to happen right so right now don't panic chill hold your horses and let's go